Welcome to the exclusive Ask the Preacher program for the P.P. Simmons YouTube channel. I'm Pastor Carl Gallops, and I'll be your host and biblical commentator as we explore another hot topic from the Word of God. The question is often asked about cigarette smoking, or more specifically, about marijuana use. Are these practices sinful? Let's begin by admitting that both nicotine and pot are very powerful drugs. Nicotine and the effects of smoking are absolutely physically devastating. The death that cigarette smokers die is often horrendous. As a longtime pastor, I have held the hands of many people who have died drowning in their own body fluids after their heart and lungs failed from years of abusing their body with cigarette smoking. Pot has the very same effects on one's heart and lungs, with the added problem of the fact that pot is mind-altering and mind-impairing and often destroys brain cells. It is a heavy-duty drug. Now, I know someone could argue, well, what about coffee? It's a drug as well, caffeine. This is true, and I will say too much coffee or caffeine can have effects on your health. If one is addicted to coffee and caffeine and completely overdoes it, then yes, they have a problem, and it could very well be sin for that person. But coffee does not devastate the heart and lungs and brain, as does smoking cigarettes, and as does pot. Coffee does not negatively alter the state of one's consciousness or mental acuity, as does pot. But this video is about cigarettes and marijuana, not about coffee, so let's stick to the point. The Bible does not forbid smoking cigarettes or smoking pot directly, not in those words. But most generally, the Bible does make the strong case that we should be good stewards of our bodies and we should practice self-control and we should honor God by what we do with our bodies. 1 Corinthians six nineteen and 20 says it like this, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. There are two applicable biblical principles that apply to substance abuse, such as cigarettes or marijuana. First is the addictive nature of both of these items. The idea of the scripture is that any habit that has mastered us puts us outside of the control and the freedom of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. In short, if we live at the level of carnal instincts, then we put ourselves under condemnation rather than God's grace. You see, the battle is between the carnal nature and God, and when we decide to cave to the lower nature, we are spiritually rejecting the grace of Jesus Christ, who came to set us free from all such matters. Jesus is Lord, or not, depending upon how we choose to live. It's no good calling him Lord, Lord, and then actually serving another master. Romans 6:16. 6, 1 Peter chapter 2, 11, Romans 8, 12, 1 Corinthians 6, 12, 2 Peter 2, 19. All of these passages of scriptures and many others speak to self-control and taking hold of our carnal and fleshly nature. Secondly, and more to the point of marijuana, is using drugs okay to alter our moods, especially for recreational purposes? In scripture, the word witchcraft is pharmakia from which we get our word pharmacy. Drugs in general are not sin, but pharmakia witchcraft is the using of drugs to solve spiritual problems instead of turning to Jesus Christ, or using chemicals illicitly as a shortcut to real spiritual growth and maturity. Taking substances to purposely induce a spiritual effect is witchcraft, pure and simple, according to the word of God, which is a grievous sin. Those who continue to do this will in no way enter the kingdom of God, Galatians 5, verses 19 through 23 says. You see, we cannot have it both ways. We can wait upon the Lord for what he has promised, or we can spiritually cheat with drugs. You see, this contest between substance abuse versus being filled with the Spirit is portrayed to us as an either-or. With wine in the Bible being the drug that is abused most often in scriptures as it was most readily available back then. Ephesians 5 verse 15 says, Be careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
Galatians chapter 5, verse 24 says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. In summary, we should never allow ourselves to be mastered by any addiction or habit if we are truly set free by Jesus Christ. And we must choose between the Holy Spirit and drugs or even the sin of witchcraft to improve our lives, for we cannot participate in both and be biblically right with the Lord. Smoking cigarettes and smoking pot certainly cannot be pleasing to the Lord, no matter how we might seek to justify these activities. Certainly God cannot and most likely will not bless us to the level of His desire when we insist on feeding the flesh with such destructive behavior rather than feeding the Spirit with the things of God. So let me urge you, feed the Spirit within you. Feast upon God's Word and His presence let the Lord and His Holy Spirit be your comfort and your strength and your courage, not pot. Get your copy of my new book, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. Considering the days in which we now live, you need this book. Available at Amazon.com and WND Superstore. Get your copy today.